Hi, my name is Siert van den Berg. This is my first self-built Weizenborn guitar. I found this construction plan somewhere on the internet because I could see on the drawing that the guitar had a scale length of 650 millimeters. I was able to convert the drawing to its actual size using Photoshop. The copy shop here in town made a beautiful print of it in A0 format. With the help of the drawing I could now start making the inside and the outside molds. For this I used three layers of 16 mm MDF. For the side walls of the guitar I bought some cheap thin strips of hardwood at some garden center. Strips with a thickness of 6 mm which are normally used for borders along a flower bed. It's probably Ipe. It's also called Brazilian Walnut. For the top of the guitar I got some large planks from my son who is building a garage with this wood. So that was for free. And because he had a thickness bench, I don't know what it is in, in English, but I was able to plane all the wood back to a thickness of 3 mm. The Ipe wood went into the bathtub to get thoroughly soaked. To bend it I made a temporary bending device from a paint burner and a piece of aluminium pipe that I had lying around somewhere. I wrapped the wooden strips in soaking wet rags. Then I wrapped the wood with aluminium foil. Now I turned the paint burner on high to heat the wood with the wet rags around it. I was hoping to get it so hot that it would begin to steam inside. It worked pretty well, but my impression is that this type of wood hardly absorbs water and next time I would definitely rely on thinner layers of veneer to make laminated sides. The molds I made earlier did a good job of maintaining the correct curve in the wood. To save a lot of work I left out all of the focal bars and reinforcement bars under the top and the bottom. Instead I made a grid from a single piece of 9mm plywood to strengthen both blades. This also made all purflings redundant. I even managed to get the top slightly curved by temporarily placing small blocks of wood between the grids for the top and the bottom. The headstock of the guitar is made of maple. The fingerboard is made with two layers of the 3mm Ipe and the wood for the fret spacing is maple again. The bridge is also made from Ipe, now three layers of 3mm. The saddle is made of bone, but I made a nut from aluminium. You may wonder how I managed to make those very characteristic bindings in that rope pattern. I'll reveal the secret, they are just like the rosette prints that I stuck to the edges with wood glue. By varnishing the whole thing it's almost invisible. I call this final result just the first prototype. For me it's a successful project. The sound is very good and apart from the beautiful vintage Grover tuners it hardly cost me any money. And building it was a lot of fun.